In this quick tutorial, we'll cover elements of linking versus appending objects within a scene. It's a powerful technique, but it's also uh, potentially dangerous, and I'll show you what I mean. So um, this is for advanced beginning Blender users. You should be familiar with my 2.63a tutorials that I have on YouTube in a playlist. So let's just add, in this case, we're going to add a cube to the scene like this. We're just going to make a little, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll make a, make a little greenhouse in the case. I mean, this is going to be a very simple greenhouse. All right, so we'll go into edit mode, look at it from above a little bit. Um, we'll, we'll just subdivide that house a little bit a couple times like this here. All right, and then I'll deselect everything. I'll just, well, let me go into vert and I'll reselect these like this. And then I'm going to move them up a little bit. And then I'm going to scale them on Y. There we go. Here's the beginning of my little house. Nothing fancy. All right. So we'll go back in here. And then maybe this will be my, we'll go into face select mode like this. And I'll just extrude that into X. I'll push it way back in. And that'll be that's it all right there's the house you just have to go with it that is the house all right we'll go back to regular lighting mode all right so now we have a house in the scene I'm gonna save this file I'm gonna call it a1 so I've saved it as a1 all right so then um, we'll also let's just save it as a2 as well save as a2 so now I have two identical files but within a2 I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna resave it so that's A2, we'll verify that. Let's open A1, and there's A1, there's the house within the file. All right, so let's go back and get A2 again. So now, sometimes, maybe, the, maybe that house was a very intricate, de de detailed house, and you spent a lot of time, and then you're creating a new scene someday that's going to be entirely different, and you decide you need a row of houses in there. So what you can do, you, you decide, oh, I'm going to go use the house from the other scene. Easy enough, instead of rebuilding it. So what you do is you press Shift, and the F1 key. And it takes you into a mode where you can either link or append the object. This means either or based upon whether or not this link button is selected. By default it's not, so what it does it's going to append the object to the file, meaning, let me just go into this directory documents, we'll go to A1, I'll go into the object directory, I'll go get the Oh no, which cube was it? Well, it had to be the last cube in the scene. It must be cube 002. And since link is not selected, it's going to append it or essentially make a copy of it into the scene. So there it is in the scene. And it's its own copy. And I'll move it over here. And I'll rotate it a little bit like this. Right here. Okay, so I'll save that. I'll go back and reopen A1. And there's the house there so it's its own distinct copy doing its own thing all right so that's fine you don't have to worry about it. if you edit or model the other one let's go back into a2 you can do whatever you want to this and it's not going to change the other scene but sometimes maybe you're trying to work on it you maybe you're trying to save memory and because every object that I copy into this scene maybe this is a really intricate house and it's taking a lot of memory and so I copy one into the scene and then I copy another one into the scene and they all take a boatload of memory. Well instead maybe I want to link it from the other scene instead. So I'm going to get rid of this house. And instead this time I'm going to, let's just save it to verify, verify I'll save, shift F1. This time I'll go down here and press the link button. I'll make sure I have the file A from A1, object, cube, is there a house? So now he's in here like this but it's linked it highlights in blue like this. So if I go to right click it to move it, if I say press G, I can't move it. So it's part of the other file, but you can, you just have to make it local to this scene. Okay, so to do that you just go into object mode and where's my local up here? Make local right there. Make local selected object. Okay, and when you do, now you can move it around in the scene like this. So I'm going to move it over in here and I'll save that. And I'll go, uh, well, actually, while we're here, let's do this again. Let's shift F1, and let's get another one in, in that same location. All right, so now he's in the scene as well. So I have two houses. We'll just rotate him a little bit. So he's a different house. We'll save that. 
And now we'll reopen scene one. Now, since they're linked, they're basically just linked to this existing scene. So maybe, you know, a couple of years later down the road, this old file that you were working in, you know, you forgot all about, and you your current one with those houses you think is your is the only thing there, and you've come back into this file, and you either maybe you've deleted this file or you delete this object within this file. I'll save this like this, and then when you go back in to your A2 file, they're gone. They're both gone. And when they can be gone forever, <laughs> or they can. So when you link things, you're just linking to an object that's somewhere else. You don't have a direct copy of it versus copy. It. You can manipulate them in the scene like this and change the orientation, but uh, you can't really, you can't change the physical, you can't change the mesh on the object, so you can't change the shape. You can move them and things like that. All right, well, I hope that gives you a, a good idea of uh, the potential dangers associated with linking versus appending, but it can be really useful as well. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next lesson.